Hey, what's up guys? It's Trent with Bully Barn. All right, so today I'm gonna do a real quick video. Don't make fun of my hat. I'm gonna do a real quick video. It's real windy out here today, but we cut all the grass short. I'm gonna give you guys a really big tip on how to knock down the fleas and ticks, especially if you have quite a bit of acreage or a big yard or they're bad in your area, okay? So we live in Oklahoma, so we have a lot of fleas and a lot of ticks. So instead of treating our dogs all the time and having to give them next guard and, and different stuff like that topical like flea treatment or flea and tick collars all that stuff what we do is we use granules and we spread them out all over the grass after we mow and it kills i think it's like eight different insects including fleas ticks and spiders and the brand that we use is called like garden tech seven but there's there's a lot of different brands that are basically all the same thing each bag will cover like 10,000 to 20,000 square feet. You can buy the smaller bags or the bigger bags, put it in a spreader, spread it out. If you got a buddy, all it takes once a year, borrow your buddy's mower, a full wheeler, anything that you can use, anything that will haul around one of these little spreaders and they're not really expensive and it's totally worth it. We have 17 acres here that we spray or that we put granules on and it covers it all. So, I mean, we've done years where we've used six bags, 10 bags, um, it just depends. But we're, this is the fourth year that we've used this stuff and it works amazing. Like I said, it kills all the ticks, all the fleas, a lot of other insects and stuff as well. So it knocks down all the, all the bugs for the most part. We typically, use, we, we do kind of deal with mosquitoes here and there, just uh, maybe a month or two out of the year, they're worse than others, but not bad. But anyway, guys, granules for the grass spread it out right before it rains or spread it out and then water it down if you have a smaller yard that's fine don't let the dogs on it for about 48 to 72 hours try to keep them off of it as much as possible so there is going to be you know two to three days where they don't get as much outside time or maybe you may have another location where you could put your dogs outside your fence for a day or two to go to the bathroom or go potty and play around a little bit and stuff like that then you can let them back on it after it's wetted down so anyway guys just a little tip for you it's what we do works great for us do not forget to follow on instagram at bully.barn.b uh, you can feel free to text call my number is 405-568-6846 and you guys always have a good one